Hi, I'm Dave Hurrell and I'm here at Marquis Motorhomes Billing in Northampton to help you choose your ideal fixed bed motorhome. There are several very popular layouts and they all offer something different. So let's go and take a look. Fixed bed coach builds are mainly low profiles like this one with no bed above the cab and they come in three basic flavours, island, French and twin singles. And the first one on our list is the island bed layout. Let's take a look. With this layout you always get a front lounge and it's termed the Euro lounge in the trade. It takes advantage of swivelling cab seats and you always get a forward facing seat which accommodates the fact that this van is a four berth. Plenty of room for five to sit in here and the table folds open so you can make the most of the space. But this van has a hidden secret. Above us we've got yet another double bed that drops down. You won't always find this uh, with the island bed layout, but you'll find it in many. This bed is quite common in modern low profiles and it is not exclusive to the island bed layout, but it's really great because it remains tucked up against the ceiling and pulls down to make a nice comfortable double bed whenever you need it. And so to the main event and the main reason to buy. The big advantage with the island bed layout is the fact that either sleeper has good access and get easily get in and out of bed at night. Not all of them, however, have a, a wall at the foot as this one does, but they almost all mount their washroom facilities either side as you move through into the kitchen area. Separate shower and on the other side wash basin and toilet. All fixed bed layouts also include a lot of very useful storage in the form of a large locker under the bed. The best of these have a bed that's actually adjustable and can raise and lower and they can come up high enough to actually produce a full size garage underneath which will take scooters or full size bikes. So the island bed layout, great if you want a comfortable double with good access to both sleepers. Next it's twin singles. There are two basic variations in this layout and this is the first one. This places the twin single beds low down with a spacious washroom across the rear and the whole makes into a really cosy bedroom. The other layout gives you more storage. There's actually plenty of storage under these beds on both sides. The second layout sets the beds in the far rear with a washroom forward and the advantage here is these beds can be raised and in some models that gives the opportunity for a full size garage beneath. Meanwhile, the washroom in here is one of the other advantages of this particular layout. Cozy bedroom, private ensuite facilities and very spacious. Often you'll find the wardrobe in this particular washroom and that allows the whole thing to become a changing room as well as an ensuite. Also, you'll almost always find a large separate shower, the kind of thing that you really want to use every day. Up front is pretty much the same layout as the other fixed bed designs. You've got the Euro lounge here with the forward facing travel seats, side seat and crucially twin belted travel seats, midships kitchen. Uh, but you also find in some British fans just twin sofas. But do bear in mind in that situation there's no rear travel seats. This is a four berth van so you really do need them. Some of the vans are only two berths so a twin sofa lounge is fine as you don't really need the rear travel seats. French bed vans come in all lengths. This one's only six metres long, but it manages to pack quite a lot inside, including a cosy lounge, a decent kitchen, and a reasonable washroom. In British vans with this layout, you'll often find twin sofas up front, but that means that you don't actually get any rear seat belts. Here, this is a Continental that's actually built in Spain. You get the classic Euro lounge again with the folding adjustable table and belted seats in the rear. This is the classic French bed layout. So you have the kitchen in the middle, the French bed in the rear corner, the washroom alongside. And this is what you'll find in just about every vehicle of this type and layout. Kitchens will vary. In this van, as it's aimed at the British market, it's very well equipped with a microwave, large fridge freezer and a full size cooker. In some you will only find a hob to cook on and the lack of a microwave. If we look at the bed here, you'll find that also that they vary in height. The higher, the bigger the storage locker underneath, but you won't find one that is mounted high enough to give you a full size garage like some of the other layouts. The washroom as well is important. Some 
feature a separate shower, some don't. And the relationship in measurement between the width of the bed and the width of the washroom is important. Wide bed can mean a washroom that's too narrow, a narrow washroom and you have a wider bed. It's vital that you check both measurements and make sure you're comfortable using both the washing facilities and the bed before you decide to buy. So that's the three main fixed bed layouts you're going to find in low profile coach builds. Just check that you're going to be comfortable in each. There are issues regarding access to the bed and the amount of storage that's underneath. Once you've done that, try everything out before you sign on the dotted line.